Okay, so first we have the squat. So the easiest way to introduce yourself to doing a squat is to do what I like to call a sit to stand. So it's literally going from sitting to standing. So you sit down and then you stand up. That's it. Uh, if you need to use arm rests to get up and down, that's completely fine. Or if you need to use your legs, you might have to need to put your hands on your legs to get down and to get up again. But ideally, over time, you'd be working towards not having to use your hands at all. So you might start off using your hands. You might do something like five repetitions, 10 repetitions, depending on where you're at. And then as you get better at it, you might start doing more and more without the use of your hands. So once you can do it without using your hands, and bear in mind, you do need to lean forward to squat. So a lot of the time people think they need to have their chest up, but you, you can't, like I can't get up if I keep my chest up. You have to lean forwards to do the movement. Once you can do it, let's say 10 times, you've done it, you've done it for a little while and you feel happy with it, you could make it a little bit harder by having a little weight. So you could get a backpack and put water bottles or books or something in it so that it weighed a few kilos. This is five kilos. You hold it at your chest and then you try doing the exercise, sitting and standing with a weight in your chest. Just some little notes. It's probably good to have your feet about hip width distance apart. And it is okay for your knees to travel forwards while you do it. All those things are fine and safe. One thing to look out for is to avoid your knees hitting each other on the way down. So if you find your knees doing this, just see if you can keep them at least tracking in line with your feet.